Welcome back, Big Dr. Dan here once again. I'm um, sorry this vlog is late. Um, some stuff came up. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'm just on a late kick so far this year. Not off to a good start. Um, I do have some, uh, some cool stuff in this vlog coming up. First off, we're going to touch on some advocacy in Saskatchewan. Brought to my attention by a viewer and uh, what I've been vaping. Uh, there's going to be a, I'm going to touch on a little bit of a, the vape safety series that's been going on. Uh, I got a couple of shout outs. I got a announcement for next month and I've changed up my review queue a bit. So that is all going to be jumbled up into this vlog and, um, and hopefully it'll be again, a little bit shorter format. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of over on this side of the room as opposed to my regular vlog area which is kind of a mess right now um, in the midst of doing a bazillion loads of laundry and stuff and so my chair is taken up by laundry that I have to fold um, <laughs> so first off I'm going to touch on the advocacy so um, the province of Saskatchewan wants to ban vaping in public places I have my vlog notes down here you should set something up temporarily um well anyway so provinces maybe i can put it like this is that gonna work that's gonna work all right so uh the province of saskatchewan wants to ban, ban vaping in public spaces or at least the municipal governments want the provincial government to uh put a a blanket ban in place so that they don't have to be the bad guy that um <laughs> that does does the ban um so sorry yep all sorts of stuff in the way like i said the vlog space is just a terrible mess right now um so yeah uh the, the municipal governments they want to to ban uh vaping just blanket in enclosed public spaces all across saskatchewan and, um, so far it's still up in the air a little bit. Um, they are, are wondering if it will deter people who use vapes as a way to, uh, to not smoke cigarettes. Uh, and they're worried that, um, that also it's not really the province's place to, um, to make these broad sweeping, uh, declarations. Uh, the province wants the municipal government. So I haven't really found out if there's um, some place where you can um, where you can send your inquiries to just yet. I've been trying to do some research on it. I will have some links to a couple of news stories. There's one from Leader Post and there's one from Global News. I'll have links down in the in the description below. It would help if I could speak um, so that you can look a little more in depth about it and hear like that the health minister for um for saskatchewan is kind of like mm, it's kind of on you guys if you want to ban it in in public enclosed spaces in your municipal area then that's on you guys uh he doesn't want to take the responsibility himself i think that he is kind of now and don't quote me on this um because i am just like basically spewing what I've read, uh, it's, it sounds like he's a supporter of, of vaping, um, as a, not a, necessarily a smoking secession, um, device, but a smoking, uh, harm reduction tool. Some people are also concerned that it will, uh, undermine their efforts to reduce t tobacco use in the province, which is kind of just backwards and silly. But, um, but yeah, so there, there you have it. I'll have the couple of stories down below in the, uh, in the first section of the description and, uh, you can check it out. Um, also use your, your Google foo and figure out, uh, where you can, where you can, uh, mail in your stories, your, your, your take on, on these, uh, possible legislations that may go through. Um, so yeah, that was brought up to me by a viewer, so... Um, I will mention that in the shout out section. Um, next is what have I been vaping? Well, who's surprised about this? Still the noisy cricket with the air on top. Got um, twisted 26 gauge. Um, 
seven rep, eight rep, two, four, six, seven, seven reps. Um, comes up to like 0.31, which is a little on the low side uh, for a series box, but um, I'm using good batteries, fairly good batteries, and it's still like pretty beastly. Uh, this juice is gummy guts <laughs> from, jeez, uh, gummy guts is five monkeys. Um, there's a, there's a sale on at cold turkey right now. I'm not sure if the sale is over or not by the time this gets out, but uh, I ended up getting like 120 milliliters of juice in their discount bins for like, like 11 bucks. So... <laughs> I mean, they're, they're juices that are being discontinued, old labels, that sort of thing. They've got, like, discount bins off to the side. I picked up a couple of 30 mils, and they were two for one, and double points. So, um, heck yeah. Um, yeah, check that out. Like, mm, just my favorite, favorite combo right now. Um, also, what I've been vaping lately, who's surprised about this? Right here, the, the Rouleau with the Goliath V2. Vaping some Pearlicious by Divine in there. And I'm gonna need to fill that soon. Um, but yeah, so, let's see what I've been vaping. Um, also, I have been rocking my... My Aeolus, I don't have a battery in here right now, but what is going on with that? Oh, the insulator, right. My insulator keeps coming off on this um, Stingray. I don't know if anybody else has this problem. The, the insulator at the bottom in the switch just keeps like falling right out. Let's see if I can this unscrewed and show you guys. Doesn't doesn't ever come out when I have a battery in there, but it just it just pops right out. Uh, this little Delrin bit it just sits there and stops it from short circuiting before you press the switch. So that's that's the thing that I'm having issues with right now. Apparently, screwing it back in too is an issue. Uh -huh. That's what she said. Um, so yeah, that's a thing too. Um, my Stingray with the Aeolus, because it looks like, look at that, it's like all black and monolithy and funky. I like it. Um, so that's my tube mod of the, of the week. Um, and that's what I've been vaping. So next is the Vape Safety Series. So I've put out a couple of videos now on vape safety. Um, last week I did... Battery wraps, just looking at my calendar over there, if you're wondering what I'm looking off to the side at. The battery wraps last week. Um, before that, I put out, like, a sort of a, just a general, like, Vape Safely Guys video. Um, and now I'm going a little more in-depth. So, last week was battery wraps, like, rewrapping your battery. Um, this, this week, on Wednesday, I will have a ohm's law episode all planned out um it's all about ohm's law and knowing your amp limits for your batteries so i've got uh, a bit about the history of ohm's law um i've got the actual formula itself with like an, a little example written out here i'm going to put it on the back of my smurfs poster which you may notice is conspicuously gone um because i have it pulled down i'm going to put ohm's law calculations and it's going to look like a little physics whiteboard um and so that'll be the, that's the Ohm's Law section. From here up, that's Ohm's Law. And from here down is all about battery ratings. So knowing your battery. So I've got a link here uh, for each, uh, the history of Ohm's Law, and the um, and a, a good article to read about uh, knowing your batteries. Because a lot of batteries claim that they have... Like 35 amp, 40 amp, 50 amp, 60 amp. Um, but those aren't the actual ratings for the batteries. Those are what's called pulse ratings, which is more what we would use vaping anyways. But to be safe, you want to use what it is rated to at a uh, continuous current um, amp level. So 
for example, well, I'm not going to get too into that right now. Uh, I'll get into that on Wednesday when you see that episode. Uh, then the week after, next week, is going to be uh, what happens when a battery fails. So I've got, like, a little, like, plan here. I'm going to do, like, an experiment. Um, although I don't know if you can really call it an experiment, because I already know what's going to happen from uh, research on on it. Um, but I'm going to do it in video in a continuous shot so that you can see exactly what happens when a battery fails um, catastrophically. Uh, after that, I'm going to have a episode on uh, hybrids and mechanical mods. So uh, it's going to be all about building and that sort of thing. And so that is going to be the vape safety uh, series for this month. Um, that is that. All right. So uh, next month, there's going to be a new series as well. And that's going to be a beginner series. So I'm going to start off with, like, uh, where do I start? How do I get into vaping? How do I get off the cigarettes and onto this delicious, delicious smelling vapor stuff everybody's got going on? Mmm. Gummy guts. So good. Tastes just like gummy worms. Um, so yeah, that'll be... I'll have... If I can get to that in my notes here. So I've got basically, like... A little blurb that I'm going to talk about at the beginning, and then I'm going to talk about each different type of vape. So, Sigalikes, uh, Egos, Mods, Mech Mods, Hybrid Devices, Series, Parallel, all that stuff. I'm going to get into, like, all of it. And it's going to kind of tie in with the Vape Terms Omnibus episode I did back when I started on this channel. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go all over that and that's going to be the first episode um is where do i start and then i'm going to try to do a little short episode on each different type of vape so siglites egos mods um mech mods hybrids series parallel all that stuff um and it'll just be like a beginner series and that'll be happening next month uh, now that that's done, da, 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 I changed the review queue around a little bit. So, um, I found that a lot of my reviews were just kind of like stuff that I've had since the beginning because I kind of let it go by the wayside for a while and was just doing my first impressions of things, which were kind of like, um, kind of like the, what I have for the full review, um, format right now just kind of thrown into the vlog and uh so instead i'm taking my my first impression format for the vlog and i'm shrinking it down and i'm just gonna be like okay yeah i think this is cool so far like it the noisy cricket it, it's like a mac truck towing a freight train that's slamming you in the face with an anvil and hits like godzilla and <laughs> like really obviously it depends on what you build on it but but, um, yeah, anyways, that's beside the point. I'm, I'm, I'm paring down the first impressions. I'm not going to go up close and show you each little bit of it. I'm going to get into that stuff in the full reviews, uh, like I have been doing. Um, so the review queue has changed a bit. Uh, instead of me just doing, like, stuff from way back when, um, I've relined it up to have it a little bit more relevant. So, like, on Friday coming up, I'm going to have the X-Cube 2 review, and that'll be a little bit of a longer review because I'm going to go over all of the functions of the app that you can get for it. Uh, after that, I'm going to do the RX-200. And, uh, because I've had this for a while, I feel comfortable doing a review on it. It's not, it's not a terribly complicated device to use. Um, it was a little intimidating at first, I'll admit, because it's so, like, just big and and awesome but um as far as the 200 watt device goes it's fairly simple to use so that'll be one of the uh, that'll be the review after the x cube and then after that i'm going to go into the noisy cricket and then i'm going to go into a couple of atomizers and then i'm going to go back and i'm going to do um the stingray i think and then i'm going to do a couple more atomizers and like we're going to just kind of shake things up a little bit 
and uh, try to get some of the more relevant stuff out of the way first. Um, so that is the change in the review queue, and wow, this is going to be a really, really short vlog. Um, so yeah, next I guess is, uh, and last, wow. Yeah, really short vlog. Okay, so the last thing I got right now is shoutouts. So, first off, I want to give a shout out to Rhonda from Instagram. Um, she is also happens to be my dad's girlfriend. She uh, lives in Saskatchewan, and she is the one that brought the uh, Saskatchewan vaping ban uh, to my attention. And luckily, I've uh, she brought it to my attention early enough that I can do research as it comes out, like that global story that I was telling you about. Um, global news one is, was actually from three days ago, and so it's still up in the air. Um, they still haven't made any decisions on it. Still are, are kind of batting, batting it around back and forth. Um, so thank you, Rhonda, for bringing that to my attention. Shout out to you. Um, I have two blank spots. Why do I have two blank spots? I was supposed to remember these other two. So, okay, maybe this will be a little bit longer because I'm going to try to figure out who these other two blank spots were for. What's going on with my cricket? There we go. Um, just screw that in again. Okay. So, um, oh, I remember one now. So, I was going to give a shout out to Shirley from Peg City Vape Con for uh, hooking me up with an invite to the, to the Vape Con. Because I talked about it in the last vlog which was incredibly late, by the way. Sorry again. Um, I just wanted to say uh, thanks for inviting me. I plan to uh, go and have a great time, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get you on video for the vlog, um, along with some of the other guys in the Big City Cloud Club and all that other stuff. Um, and yeah, so shout out to Shirley from Peg City Vape Con, also Peg City Cloud Club, and I think Winnipeg Vape Club as well. Uh, um, she's, she's a cool lady. I've actually met her a couple of times. I believe at Cold Turkey she's come in. Um, and yeah, she's a cool lady. So, bam, shout out to, to, uh, Shirley. And the other one, what is that other empty space? Why do I do this to myself? Like, I, I'm gonna leave my vlog notes, like, seriously lacking. Like, like, uh, whoa. Turn the camera around. What are we doing? Is this right side up? I think this is right side up. If you're upside down right now, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I um, obviously didn't plan that out very well. But yeah, like this is my my vlog notes. I love these legal pads, but um, I need to write more on my notes. Obviously. Um, I'm just going to leave that last one out, and um, if I can remember who it is, then I will throw it into the next vlog. Uh, so yeah, it's only a 20 minute vlog, wow. That's that's good for me, I mean like, hell, I'm, I'm cutting it down, big time. I don't have any first impressions, really, I guess I can do a first impressions on the juice. Gummy Guts, taste, well, I've already said, like, this is Gummy Guts by Five Monkeys, and it's, it's delicious, it's... Tastes exactly like gummy worms. Um, and it mixes really well with other juices, I find. Like, I uh, was running really low on some juicy fruit uh, juice. So I picked up like a 15 mil of this before. And because um, it was on sale for like three bucks or something. I was like, three bucks, 15 mils of juice. And so that's, can't go wrong. Um, It's it's just awesome. It's <laughs> delicious. The other one that I got is um is Afro Cherry from Five Monkeys. Now, uh, do I have a battery that I trust in that mod with that build? Yeah, let's let's throw the HE4 in there. I think that can handle this. Let's just 
take a look at this build real quick. Oh, of course it's not gonna. It doesn't want to work for me. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm a little crazy. I don't know if I trust this this battery with this build. Mm, yeah. Seems okay. I'm heating up. Alright, we're just gonna juice this right up with some afro check. Mm. It's a really good juice. I've tried this one before too. Um the flavor profile on it, it's hilarious. It's like the the blackest of the black cherries. Can you dig it? Um I think that was actually the reason why I got it in the first place was because it was a hilarious flavor description um mm. yum i think this build needs more power huge ramp up time it's it's <laughs> clapped in parallel with um with round wire and it's just ridiculous ramp up time but the flavor on it is just amazing let's try turning down the air oops turn down the airflow just that mm, yeah so it it tastes like a cherry popsicle that's what it tastes like to me. Cherry popsicle or um, possibly possibly a um, cherry sucker. Those like those those suckers you get at the dentist's office. Which you never really understood. Like you go to the dentist's office, get your teeth cleaned, and then they give you sugar on a stick. Um, <laughs> doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, but they're delicious. And so is the Afro Cherry Juice by Funky Juice? Yes, Funky Juice. I've got the bottle in, in the garbage somewhere. Ah, I'm not digging through trash. Anyways, um, yeah, it's by Funky Juice. Uh, it's a 50-50. It's absolutely delicious. And they have the, uh, they have 30 mils, 15 mils in the discount bins at Cold Turkey. If you are looking for a cherry juice, a cherry flavored juice, go check it out. It's cheap, it's delicious, and it's 50-50. Uh, I mean, if you're using a pen style, it's fantastic. If you're using a Ego VTC Mini, or Ego, Evic VTC Mini, um, it's great. Uh, I like I like the 50-50 juices with the, the smaller coils. Um, also works great in my limo drop because there's like the juice flow on it is ridiculously little um, so it works really well in that um, but yeah so that is my impressions of those two juices they are delicious and uh, they are inexpensive um, so yeah that's uh, that's all I, I have for the blog today We're keeping it under a half an hour um, I'm going to try to keep the vlogs down a little bit. I mean, they they get to drag on and maybe when I'm maybe if I get if I get big like grilled green or something, like maybe then I'll go back to you doing the hour and a half long vlogs um or if I have more stuff to that uh people bring to my attention. It's early in the new year. Um so if you have anything that you want to see in the vlogs, let me know in the description below. Um, maybe we can add another segment, like, uh, what I used to be type thing. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the description below what you think. Um, maybe if there's anything, uh, advocacy-wise, let me know in the comments. Uh, if there's anything 
something like that you want to see a review of sooner. Like say you want to see the the noisy cricket before the Rillo, or you want to see the Aeolus before the Goliath. Let me know, and um, I will try to accommodate everybody. Uh, that being said, this vlog is done. I'm going to bake this. That is juiced. Egg salad. Um, that being said, stay smurfy. Those guys can bounce back from anything.